Hi, I'm Leonie West from Westerly Design and I'm going to show you how I stitch a fan using our SpinFX Curly Q templates. I've got a diagonal line coming out from the corner at 45 degrees and I'm going to move the template so that my template lines up on that line. I'm going to stitch to the top of the template and when I get to the centre line that I've marked, I'm going to stop on that centre line. I'm going to move the template and bring the template back in flipped over, making sure that my base lines are aligned and my top is in line. I'm now going to sew the curly Q on the other side. This is going to give me a really nice figure eight to base my fan on. I can choose different size curly cues to put on next. I'm going to put the nine and a half on next. I can align this using the corner as we started and I've got to find a place where I'm going to be able to get back to when I do the opposite side. So I could use the edge of the template to line that up but if I did that I would wind up with my stitching sitting off the stitching line from before. I have a little tool, it gives me a quarter inch measurement. So I'm going to put my tool against the stitching line that I just sewed and the template against that tool. And then when I come in I will stop sewing at the edge. So I'm going to come up. When I get to the top I'm going to have to backtrack to come back to where my next one is going to sit. So I've touched the stitching line from the before and I'm going to bring my stitching down pretty close to where I think my next stitch will be. Now I've got my hopping foot which is giving me a quarter inch. Keeping my template aligned at the base I'm going to turn my template around. Making sure that my base lines are still lined up I can now sew the next part of my fan. and I'm going to stop in the starting point. We could make this fan just using two side sizes of template or we can introduce another size and I can bring in the eight and a half. Again I'm going to have to line up to get my measurement here so I just put that little tool in there. This will be the last part of this fan, so I could actually stop here and lock off my threads here or I can just follow it back down to the beginning again and that way I'm ready to go with the other side. So back to my starting point and we're going to take the nine and a half template, flip it over put it in place, measure from the template out to the edge and continue. Going to turn the template again, making sure we're lined up down here. Where I've stopped sewing here is probably a little bit further than I should have. So what I will do is just backtrack a couple of stitches. So if you guess your gauging is not quite right on that back that backtrack in the first place, we can just move a couple of stitches up or down. So we have our two number nine and a halves in, and I'm now going to put the eight and a half in. Again I like to measure that distance and stitch up. Mm -hmm. 
and back down. So as you can see, it's very easy to create a really effective fan using the curly cues.